Well, hello! Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined today with Hubby. Hubcap. And I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today we are working on the chipmunk, and I'm trying to figure out which pen I want to use. Hey, Sheila, Sharon, Amy, Greg. Hopefully everything looks okay. Let's see here. Now, for the chipmunk, it's a different fur texture and pattern than the doggy. I wasn't able to get any other birding done. I got this transfer this morning. I still sick. So, I think, let me see here. Looking at it, and I, okay, I got the little guy up, which we got a name. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the 18S. I think we should be fine at three and a half. And what I need to watch is the fur is shorter. It, you can see more of the fur pattern versus like the fluffy part of the puppy. Um, let's see here. Hmm. That's the main things to watch because when you see more hair, like groups of hair and uh, single hairs and they're shorter they tend to look more coarse the longer less root look fluffier so that's why we're going to focus on this little guy you see here hey Burl hey Barb and oh might as well get this done I got my special hot cocoa because I still feel like crud we got snowman this time and we got Santa hats. What else? That's it. A bunch of snow on the ground, so I am happy. Okay, yeah, snow. <laughs> I am happy. Alrighty, so make sure I'm on screen. I probably should get closer since we're focusing on this little guy. There we go. We make him bigger. Like that. Hopefully. How's that look for everybody? Mm, looks good to hear it. And remember, I've got this pattern. It's for sale. I've got it linked down in the description, along with the kitty and the ribbon. And I think I'm going to shoot. Should I do the eye first just to get it in there? Because the hair around the eye of the chipmunk is light. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot fire. Mm -hmm. So shoot fire. I'm going to switch over to this small ball tip. At least it, it um, heats up quickly. So, what do you have in your coffee? Uh, I haven't had a sip of it yet, but I got brandy this time. Brandy. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Could, I tasted could it. Could be an interesting stream. Uh, hopefully, it'll make me cough less. Because I'm still sick. Mm. Feel sick. <coughs> I'm still coughing. I'm not sick. I'm just coughing. But see, that's why I was talking about I couldn't get sick because this is going to last me a couple of months. <sighs> I love you. Uh, yeah. It's not your fault. It is kind of is. Though. It is not your fault. Alrighty, so I bumped up to four with the 19S ball tip. We're going to get this little eyeball in there. I could use the 9M writing tip because this is really small. I went ahead. The small ball tip. I do want to leave some room for the highlight. You're not going to fall asleep, are you? You okay? Mm -hmm. So let's get this Stretching. eyeball in. Uh, Kathy Bunke Hi, Kathy. says, Hi, I just want to say thank you for all you have done, and I've learned a lot from you. So oh, I'm so glad. It always makes me happy to hear, because I always worry about that. That's why you start this channel. First and foremost. It is. Because Valerie was upset about wrong information being distributed. And she wanted to put the, the best information out. Alrighty. So, his nose is a light nose, unlike the puppy dog. So, I don't have to worry about that. We do have a little darkness. And what I'm doing is getting the a uh, few of the darks in first, just so I can follow where I'm going. So, let's get some dark 
in here. And remember, the faster I move my pen, the lighter it'll burn. So I don't have to sit and continually adjust my heat. Alrighty. Got his ear in here. Alrighty, let's see. You see my picture. Why does my picture seem bigger? Let's make the eyeball bigger. There we go. Spence, yeah, that feels a little better. Spence says nice hats. Ah, thank you. I'm the princess. And this is my dirty Santa hat. It is your dirty Santa hat. You're so low. Can you pop your chair up? Because look at the screen. Yeah, <laughs> you're, I know. you're like way down I'm, here. You're I'm the your Ziggy. Elf. Oh, then you need a green hat. You haven't earned the red if you're my elf. Elf said, Hubcap says no. <laughs> we do need to get some new Santa hats. We've had these for eight years. Alrighty, let's see the, here. I think the problem is with mine is that you can't wash it in the washing machine, right? Nope, I have to wash it by hand. Yeah. I guess. What about a dishwasher? Um, but I have to agitate it to get the fur clean. Because it's the fur that's the issue. So Greg said it's a couple of elves today. A couple of elves. Yeah, and we've already started our Christmas watch movie watch mm -hmm. yeah are we three in yes we're three in do we have anything we wanted to recommend hmm. hmm i'm waiting for the 18s to heat up i'm gonna go ahead and do four because what i'm gonna do is use the side of the pen to get some of the fur texture in and because i'm moving quicker it's gonna be i know it's going to be lighter so. Well, there's two classes of Christmas movies. There's Christmas movies, and then there's movies set at Christmas time. And I know that, like, maybe the boys would disagree, but, like, Die Hard falls into one of those Christmas time movies. Okay, okay. Yes, but, Jesse would disagree but with you. it's not... They don't really talk about Christmas in there. I mean, mm, there's a, a, at the a beginning. few references. To me... Better Off Dead is more of a Christmas time movie than Die Hard yeah. because they actually go through like you know presents and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, but they're having a hol holiday party in Die Hard. I know, but that's just the beginning before um, Hans Gruber shows up. But um, so, so just using the, hold on, just using the side of the pin, and when I mean the side of the 18s, sorry. I'm talking, I'm just using the edge of the pen like this so that I'm getting a fine stroke versus the thicker stroke with the end or the real thick stroke with the whole pen. I'm just using the edge. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So, yeah, wonderful. it's a wonderful life. That's a, that would be a Never Christ seen it. Christmas movie and a Christmas time movie. It's more of a Christmas time movie because it doesn't really, when, when we talk about Christmas movies, we're like, Directly Santa Claus. into the Santa mythos. So, Elf. like, um, what was the, the... Rudolph. Yeah, what what was the movie that we watched on Netflix a few days ago? Night... Oh, oh, that's the one I wanted to recommend. That's, that's the movie. one. That is a good movie. I'm holding my hair to keep it away from everything. Okay. Um, Christmas Chronicles. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I love that, that, that That's going to be... That's like, a new classic. I remember when Elf came out and... Everybody was like, Will Ferrell, Elf. But then now it's like a Christmas classic. And I think Christmas Chronicles is going to, I think it's going to fall into that category. Following the direction of the fur. So if you got Netflix, check that one out. Oh, I love that awesome. one. I do love that one. Um, he makes a good Santa. Yeah, he does. So Kathy wants to know what pen are you using? Not the number, but like spear shader. Small spear shader. This is a small spear shader. And I often ask the same question because all that stuff is in code, right? Like, 18S is what? An 18 spear shader? Small. What I'm using small. in my hand. Small. Okay. Yes. See. What, what I got in my hand. I, I don't know. So What's I got good in question. my hand? Yeah, this is a small spear shader. Barrel says, still do not like Elf. You know, it took a while for that movie to grow on me, and it did. 
Some people do not like Will Ferrell. And that's okay. Yeah. In fact, I have a shirt now for for that. Because cause Troy is the same way. He, yeah. He does not. He despises Will Ferrell. So going with the direction of the fur because the arm's going down, but it's all, the fur is also going in this direction, so I'm trying to curl it, curve it, I should say. Seal's awake. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm not going full dark here because I can always darken it. Not a big deal. Especially since I'm using the edge. Always darken it. Spent says Christmas vacation. Was oh, his, oh, 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 his favorite. Yes, that's yes. That, us too. Yes, but we, we quote that one all year long. We, we don't watch that one till later. Till later, closer to Christmas. There's some that, that the Santa Claus. Yeah, you gotta watch series. closer to Christmas. Yeah, Christmas Story. Um, what else? There's a few of them we have that needs to be right. Like the week of Christmas. I know. I'm weird that way. I'm weird. I've always like Scrooge because when I was little, I really liked the Christmas Carol. But I like Scrooge better than the old one because I think it's kind of dry, even though it's a Charles Dickens classic. And I also like the Muppet Christmas Carol. Yes, the Muppet Christmas. I like the Muppet Christmas Carol better. <laughs> yeah. But Carol Kane's in it. Oh, I know, and I love Carol King. He yeah. is awesome. He is awesome. So this, we have a little hair that goes down. Our little, it's, it's skin with hair on it, but lacks muscle, because that's just how the chipmunks are. That's down here, and that fur does change direction, so I need to pay attention to that. And then it goes into shadow. But right here, where the arm is a little bit more defined, that hair... Um, it's shorter, but it also looks a little smoother. The rougher or the more coarse hair is on, on his tummy and his legs. I'm assuming it's a him. But it, so that would make the puppy a little girl. Or if the puppy's a little girl, then the chipmunk needs to be a little boy. Okay. I don't know. Because I'm just trying to have balance. I feel like the, the brandy's kicking in. No, not even yet. I haven't had enough for it to kick in. All right, let's go dark here. I, I you know, I almost said something to make you laugh, but I'm afraid to start your coughing. Oh, I I'm will gonna, cough. I'm not going to do that. I miss kissing and laughing. Yep. Two things I miss right now. So what I'm using now is I'm using more of the tip flat. <coughs> so there's a little bit. Let's see how well I can get this. So there's a little bit of an angle, so you don't. This is flat. I've got it up at just a little bit of an angle, and drawing down, and that's what's making the thicker mark. And the slower I go, because I already have this set on four, slower I go, the darker it's going to be. You can't go to sleep yet. I'm not a stretching. Okay. So you can get some dark in here. from the last couple days. Mm -hmm. We shovel our sidewalk, and then we had to go to Phoenix. That was yesterday. Go to the doctor. David, uh, David Zinman says, "Hey, Aaron. Sorry, hey, David. Sorry, I'm late. Unacceptable, David. <laughs> go to the corner. Go to the corner. Time out. All right, you're forgiven. <laughs> so Just we kidding. we got a bunch of snow, which we don't normally get snow at Thanksgiving." We had a white Thanksgiving. We got a foot of snow in, what was it, under seven hours? Something like that? Yeah. So. And then it kept going. At one point, you couldn't even get into Flagstaff. They had to, hmm, sorry, they had to shut down the highways. So if you were already here and needed to get out, you were in trouble. I'm so glad that it snowed as much as it did. Oh, me too. That way I didn't have to hear you. I knew that was Complain. coming. I knew I knew that was coming. Because if the I weather knew it. if the weatherman knew says it. we're getting 
10 inches and we get... Then I expect 10 inches because they inches said it's going to be 10 inches. she's mad because she feels personally betrayed that the weatherman... Screwed up. Yeah. Like, in medieval times, it would not be a good thing to be a weatherman in Valerie's <laughs> court. She was, she was <coughs> Excuse me. Their heads would roll. I'm pretty sure. You got it wrong. That was only three and a half instead of four. Mm-hmm. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be happy, but I wouldn't do that. Let's see here. Following the hair. Dance, weatherman. Dance for your life. <laughs> When you tell me it's going to be Perhaps something. Perhaps next time you'll be more careful when predicting the weather. I know it's just a prediction. But I get my heart set on those predictions. And she gets so angry. I don't get so angry. And I did not complain at all this time. No, because we got, we got close to two feet of snow. But that means I didn't complain. That brings us full circle to why I'm grateful. Except for the shoveling on the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh, I know, it was thick and heavy too. Sharon says, we have so much snow in here in Maine, you can have it all. I would take it too. David says, we have a lot of snow. Burl <laughs> hasn't weighed in, but I'm pretty sure oh, he has snow. Well, yeah. I know she was complaining a little while ago, like around Halloween, that they were getting snow. Mm. You don't like it. See, where I come from, it snow, like, sometimes we get snow as early as Halloween. And then November is snow season. Yeah, but snow season here doesn't tend to be, I mean, we have white Christmases most of the time. Yeah. Um, so for what, last year we didn't really have No, and it was, there was snow on the ground, but it did not snow on Christmas. Yeah. It was weird going to Phoenix yesterday and seeing Christmas ornaments on people's lawns, on gravel, and That's sand, just the way it is. around cactuses. But they're celebrating too. Oh, I agree. It's fine. It just looks weird to me. So when, when I first left Alaska and went to other places, it was just bizarre like to be in winter time with no snow, to be at somewhere at night and it'd be warm instead of cold. That's just so weird. Nah, I'm used oh, to it. I can see that. All right, using the edge. When you see me making thin marks, I'm using the edge. Oh. What? Burl says no snow. No it's snow? It's just rain. Hmm. Well, I think they were saying it was a bo bomb uh, cyclone that hit us. Amy Hess is still waiting in the snow in West Virginia. I think it's West Virginia. Was it? WV? Yes. Yeah. Could be West Vermont. No. <laughs> I don't think they... Could be wet Volkswagen. That's probably more accurate. So waiting for the snow in my wet Volkswagen. <laughs> Alright, so we got his arm right here. And as it curls under, it's going to be darker because the light isn't hitting it as much. So we got to take that into consideration. Using the edge, <laughs> going slower. In fact, this could when you're, when you're burning, the camera is adjusted. You're just a hat. I'm just a hat. Yeah. Should I move the camera down? You can if you want. I'm trying to make us not dizzy. There we go. How's that? Now you're more. You're still little though. I mean, I'm here you're still though. little. So you need a green hat. You didn't earn the no, red hat. No, don't try and demote me. And then don't be an elf. Be Mr. Santa Claus. I'm squinting at you right now. That's just so you can see me better, old man. That's eye daggers. Eye daggers? Alrighty. So, his dark stripe goes down to his butt and then the back of his legs so let's go ahead and get that in there Earl says we have some years where we don't get any snow at all the only place <coughs> snow is good is on the ski slopes you're a mean one <laughs> Mr. Grinch <laughs> oh barrel I understand though what? because like that's why one reason why I don't live in Alaska 
Well, I don't like that dirty snow. Well, it's not the fact that it's dirty. It's just the massive amounts of snow. Oh, we get over 100 inches a year. It gets cumbersome. Yeah, but it melts. It melts, and that is the difference. In, um, in Alaska, especially where I grew up, like, once, once the ground's covered, you ain't seeing ground again until springtime. So get used to it. And then it just accumulates and piles up and piles up. And you have to dig yourself out periodically. Well, luckily... It melts here and then comes back. And then it melts and then it comes back. And I do like that better. I like clean snow. I don't like it with all the dirt in it. Alright. Okay. I'm not going to go full darkness on this because I need to put everything else in. And then I will go back and darken what really needs to be darkened in order to get the balance that I'm looking for. So... It's not quite as dark as it's going to be fine at the final key at the final at the end. David says he has a, a red hat with his name on it. That's cool. I think we need to get more Santa hats. He says he's still burning Christmas gifts as well. Well, that's good. Let's see if that goes down. Oh my god. And then we got a bit. Why isn't this coffee waking me up? Cause you just. I feel wired, but I could just face plant right now. That's alright. I just got hot. So I need to get this sweater off. Too. Sharon wants to know, why do you start the dark parts first? <coughs> because they're, for me, they're easier to see on the pattern and in the photo. And I go maybe a couple steps below the darkest. And it's just easier to adjust. And that way, when I go to put the lights in, I can have a better idea of how light I want something. It just, that's how my brain works. If you work better light to dark, then by all means work light to dark. Neither are wrong. It's just that's how my brain works. Because we're just trying to get this on the board. But if you do the light, the dark to light, then I wouldn't burn necessarily your full darkness until the end so you can balance it out yeah I do something similar in painting I do the the darkest parts first in some cases and it landmarks for me mm -hmm. helps establish the rest of it yep David says the squirrel's looking great thank you he says that he I needs a name when um, he's talking about snow, he says that happens in Wisconsin by the end of the season. It's high. This season, that's why I like our snow. That's why I didn't want to go to Anchorage. Because our snow melts and goes away and then comes back. Well, I wanted to be in a place with snow. but Not a constant snow. Well, I guess as a kid I was kind of soured on that much snow. Because... Like, you have to shovel roofs and shovel everything, you know, because it's crushing. And, like, there's aspects of it that I really, you know, that I really like, but but it is very, very tiresome, especially if you live in a city. If you live out in the bush where I grew up, it's, it's hard, but it's not as hard because you get snow machines and, you know, you might shovel some roofs, but you're not having to worry about driveways and finding your cars and trying <coughs> you know driving in <coughs> traffic with with other people you know who may or may not know how to drive in the snow so well that's the, probably the worst part here for sure because we have yeah. so many people from out of town especially college students college students and phoenix people yeah yeah they have no clue how to drive in it uh burrow has suggested for the squirrel name chip Yep. <laughs> See, for some reason, Charlie popped in my head, and I don't know. Charlie? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know. I, I it was Zach for me, but I don't. Zach. Know. See, Zach was another one that popped in my head. But then we need to ma name the puppy too, and the th this will make sense later on next year. Okay. Let's see here. Why he doesn't feel sleek? Why? 
Where's my eraser? How about Bartholomew? No. No. No, like from Spaceballs. Barf. Oh, Barf. Bartholomew. Well, he's the puppy's friend. So if this is a boy, I'd like this to be a girl. And Wait, who's a girl? The puppy. Oh, the puppy's a girl. The puppy. Burl says, mm, that is not a squirrel, it's a chipmunk. It's a chipmunk. Yeah. Burl says, Bowser. Bowser. Not a lizard. Huh? I'm sorry, when you said Bowser, I thought of a... Uh, Super uh, Mario Super Brothers. Mario, yeah. Yeah. See, David under here says, we have less defined hair. David says rocket. Rocket. I am a big fan of rocket. So. Let's see. Greg says Sasha and Sam. Sasha and Sam. Amy says Chip and Dale. <laughs> we can't do Chip and Dale. That's a copyright. Can't do Chip and Dale. <coughs> it's two copyrights actually, because we got Chip and Dale the cartoon through Disney, and then we got Chip and Dale. Merle says Snowy for the girl. Snowy. 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 Hmm. Snowy. Because for the girl, well, the girl's name that popped in my head for whatever reason um, was Lily. And Sharon says Abby. 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 Hmm. If you're watching this on replay, leave a comment. The name for the, what you'd like, ideas, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. For the chipmunk and the puppy. We still got to do the kitty and the raven. But they will be another time. Alright, so you can see some of the thicker fur, where it's darker, I've used the tip this way, and I like the hair on the arm, I've been using the edge, so if you don't have the, um, if you don't have a skew, and the ones I normally use are these two, which is the 17SR here. And this 12S um, for hair. See, to me, this is too thin. Um, might be good for like blisters and stuff. And this is a little thick, but I can use the edge of my spear shader and get the uh, thickness that I want. So that one thing about buying pins, look for pins that you can use for multiple different types of burning. So this one does lines, the shading, um, I could even, let me see if I can find this spot on my reference. I could even get um, polka dots if I wanted with this, like that. <coughs> so this tip, this pen just made three different kinds of marks. I, didn't, I don't have to use three different pens to do that. David says, uh, Samson Delilah. I think that would be too much of a of an an antagonistic relationship. <laughs> um, Greg says, Abby Normal. He's, and then David says, yes, doctor, wasn't that hump on the other side? To which I respond, what hump? Um, Burl says, Charlotte. Yeah. Spent Charlotte. says, Bella for the pup. Up. Hmm. We can always go with Zoe too for the pup. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. This is actually a little round. Not straight down. Let's see here. And sometimes I just tap in. I don't. And I am bouncing the round, and that's just because something catches my eye. And I may need a break from what I'm doing. So I go to something else, and then come back. 
Sharon says mm -hmm. putting on the Ritz. I don't. I missed something. She may be actually naming the piece. Oh. Okay. But I mean, that's what I think when. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Burl says, "No, what is the fun of that? I've been trying to keep Pat busy." What is? What's she talking about? It's got to be something in regards to the pins. Yeah, it would be, but I'm not. Not sure. Not sure. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna pop over to this cookie real quick, just right here. This cookie is dark. <laughs> Spence says Jonathan. Yes. For the chipmunk. Yeah. Well, he is flashy. <coughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. You'd have to have a mustache. You'd have to have a mustache. Uh, I'll think about you anything. Um, four and a half, and I'm just gonna burn here because this is lighter fur, and this way it'll help me balance out how dark I want to go underneath because it is, um, it is darker fur here, lighter fur along here and here. So by putting this dark in, I have a better idea of how light or dark I'm gonna go. Uh, Burl says, LOL, three uses for a pin. Oh. I think I get it now. Yeah. Well, it helps save money if you can learn to use your pin for multiple but different textures. that's what she textures. says. Where's the fun in that? Ah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, so this is four and a half and I'm going slow just using the tip. So this is going to be dark. But I don't want it fully dark. I don't want it black because there is some lightness in some areas. But we don't see cookie texture, so I don't have to worry about that. I do wish instead of the pine uh, boughs that I put in the piece, I would have thought about um, holly. Sorry. Am I boring you? No, I'm, ha I'm having it. I have this problem sometimes. Where I Every Tuesday. A certain no. <laughs> a certain temperature. So turn I the get, heater off. And I get a little bit warm, and I get comfortable, and nothing can wake me. That's not a challenge. Can you turn the heater off though? I'm hot. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we got another that cup of coffee. Are you so leaving me? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I get to check on the dogs. They're quiet. Why it's good? They're probably asleep. I hope so. Thank you. If they are, then I'm going to close the back door. That's true. All right. I'll be back. Don't talk about me. Hmm. What to talk about? See, because that's what I don't like about going so hot is I lost my... I'm going to probably end up putting white over those anyway. I don't like the overburn. Don't like it. I know some people don't have a problem with it. It's definitely personal preference, but I do not like the overburn. I think it takes away from the piece, whether it's lettering or or whatnot. It's funny is he always turns off the heater when he opens the door, and then it, it gets cold. Alrighty. Luckily, with this overburn in the white, what I should be able to do is take my sanding stick. Let me find. And take some of that yellowing off. Because if I don't, it's going to drive me nuts. Here, I'm going to be burning, so I'm fine with that. It's just where it's white. And I'll come back and do it more later. I did turn down to four because I don't need it that hot. Alrighty. This is the underneath of the cookie side. So we do want a little more dark here. It'll be lighter up here. Because it's closer to the light. Remember if I want to go darker, 
I just slow down. And this is at four, so I'm yes, less likely to get the yellowing. I do need this darker here. Because I don't want any outline looking parts. <coughs> yeah, bro, I, ugh, I just don't like the overburn. Drives me nuts. And to me, it stands out. All right, I think we got enough cooking in, so we got a dark. And see, some of this dark's also going to be in the pine boughs and the sprigs, so that will help balance out. Alrighty. So now we got its little hand bending, so we need darker here. And then it'll be darker down here. And I can't think of a story to tell before he comes back. Funny story. Let's see here. We do have... Sometimes I just tap in. I don't outline. I tap in. Like that's going to have to be smoothed out. Because it looks bad. Alright. Here we go. I'm on the side. And instead of just doing straight down strokes, I am going back and forth. It kind of gives me more of a random and fills it in. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, he's being sick. Don't tell him he's coming back. Don't tell him. Shh. Hey, love. What did you do? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You can't prove it. You know, our dogs would be great defensive players in basketball. Uh, they did thought, they try to take you down? If they thought that the opposing team had snacks, they'd never get by them. So you'd bet your money on them? Hmm? You bet their, your money on them. Mm -hmm. So I am, guess on the tip, flat. I'm just. Hmm. What the heck? I didn't do it. What? What? It's old age. <coughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see, Burl says they have waxless, gra waxless graphite paper that you print on, then you use it to trace design. Oh, on to whatever. I didn't buy that. I bought regular graphite paper by the same company. As long as you're not burning the ink, it should be fine. And uh, yes, I'm, I don't care for Hobby Lobby, so I don't shop there. Plus, we don't have one. Right, let's get some of this graphite off, since I'm not going to be able to use any alcohol for a little while to wipe off. Alrighty. Let's draw some of these hairs down, the ones that I want more individual. I can use the side. This is definitely going to have to be darker in order to make sense. David is asking why I don't do wood, bur yeah, wood burning. You've tried it yeah, a couple I have. times. It is not my cup of tea, David. I I have been painting for a very long time, and I'm still perfecting in learning, you know? And I just... It's a whole different medium. You're just not drawn to it. I'm not. Why don't you just say that? It's okay. Well, it's totally okay that you're the weird one out. Don't don't put words in my mouth. I'm just not drawn to it. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of uh, videos of Jason Bernie. Yeah. Where I taught him. All right, we we went over the basics. It made it easier for me to explain things as we were going along. I respect it as a medium. It's it's an amazing medium. But I just, oh, I would hope so. I think for me, like especially, I like to 
go big. And I can go big. Well, yeah, but you need a flamethrower. Oh my god. I have a flamethrower. Well, I have a torch. I have a couple different torches. I need a flamethrower. I will be back in just a minute. What'd you do? Hmm? What'd you do? What did I do? What'd you do do? That's it. I'm just trying to lay the basic fur pattern in so I can go around it. There we go. He's just not drawn to it. Some people aren't, and I think that's totally fine. I'm just glad he creates. So, totally fine with it. But he did try it. He had... Part of it, I think, he compared himself to me in that our brains work differently art-wise. I'm more detail-oriented than he is. And with everything else, he has more patience. But I have more patience on this. How that happened, I don't know. Um, in general, he's calmer. But when it comes to this, to burning, it just works better for me. I mean, I do other mediums as well. And I think doing other mediums is good. It gives you the ability to look at a reference photo a little differently, um, practice uh, drawing and shading, and then going back to burning, you will see an improvement in your burning. And like being sick, this is, I've only burned twice now, both of them the lives in what the last this is the third week now because of being sick I haven't been able to be in here um, I've been in bed a lot of the time but I did take in my sketchbook and my graphite pencils and um, using uh, the tablet for reference photos from Pixabay and I've still been drawing and that allows me to feel less rusty and feel like I'm at least doing something. Because when you're sick, it feels like you're not doing anything. But he does, he has been on camera a couple of times learning how to burn. Let's see here. Pull that down too straight. Let's go the angle this way. It's really important, to, especially with coarse fur, it's even more important to follow the fur direction. See here, it actually came down I think a little too far for the arm. So let's pull it up a little bit. Let's see here, pull this over, following, because this part of the fur is going down, so we definitely need to follow that. Pull the arm up here a little bit. But I'm trying to get Jason to do smaller paintings because it's kind of hard to ship a six foot painting. And definitely not cheap. Alrighty, so. Uh, my life medicine? I think art is in general. Um, no, he did the Burl, uh, Jason burned the Christmas ornaments last year. Yes, we did it last year. So there's three burn, there's three videos of Jason and I burning together. Yep, three. I need to cough. No, I don't want to cough. <coughs> there we go. Sorry, I'm trying so hard to get better. I hate being sick. All right. So we got a little bit of eyeliner, or brow liner going on. Let's get this in here. We want to make sure the white stands out because it shapes the eye. It's there. So let's get that in there. Pull the hair following 
In fact, I think I'm going to lower to three because we are working with finer hair that is lighter. So I'm going to just lower it. Following that direction. In fact, I could go a little higher. Three appears a little light. Yeah, the Christmas ornaments were last year when he was on camera with me. Cause he, oh, because he did Dirty Santa. Or I did Dirty Santa. One of us did Dirty Santa. Which, this is going to become the Twas the Night Before Christmas story, burning wise. I'll have Jason tell the Dirty Santa story. We will make that a tradition. Ugh, my eyes. A lot of times I have my reference photo up on the computer so I can look up if I'm not sure what's going on with my reference. <coughs> Excuse me. What time is it? Uh, that in there. And if you happen to be watching this on replay, or you're watching it live and just not chatting with us yet, and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in burning this piece, practicing or whatnot, burning along, down in the description I do have a link to the pattern to buy and two dollars of the purchase goes to teamtrees.org until January when they end the um, campaign. In fact I need to make another donation for the patterns. It always feels good to put that donation in. <laughs> hear you. You hurt nothing. Sorry about My that. balls are bouncing. My balls bouncing. Oh. Brandy's, my ball is Brandy's no. kicking in. No, it's just I felt it on my head. Uh, sorry about that. that. You okay? Uh, ow. You okay? Ow. Yeah. You're owing. Well, we're getting close to being done. That was it. That was an emergency. That was an emergency. All right, let me try and catch up on chat. Wow, there's a lot of chat. You're gone forever. I know, I don't mean to and be Ever long. and ever and ever. It was so for, for long. So long. Oh, next week I think you need to tell the um, Dirty Santa story. Oh, okay. It's going to become our burning story. You know, like the whole Twas the Night Before Christmas. Mm. This will become... So maybe you should write it out and and write it as a story that you would read on Christmas to your kids mm. only we're reading it to the toasties okay you know what I mean mm. Mm. should I write it from the first person or the third person how would you guys like to hear it third person narrated or first person <coughs> you know what I think maybe third person okay and I wish I would have time to try to animate it and have him at the bottom of the screen, but I guess I don't have times for that. Uh, no, no, no times. We were quite busy. No times. True that, sister girl. Mm-hmm. Now we mm -hmm. a little dizzy with that. A whole lot of work. Yes. Yes, I do. I still got to work on Jonathan. I feel so bad. When I get sick, it just knocks me out completely. What? When I get sick, it knocks me out completely. Oh. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, me too. I haven't done any art in well over a month and a half. If not two months. I've, I've you know, my motivation. I haven't done anything. Well, at least I'm drawing in bed. Still. Yeah. I tried, I tried to sketch the other day, but I just ended up falling asleep. I ended up falling asleep. 
I can normally get a breakfast. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. Why, mm -hmm. Moon? Because I'm a brat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm a brat. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I need to make that white a little bigger. I'm using the side of the knife to just pull a little out. That's enough. Alrighty, so we have this start of working name Kip on the board. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Alrighty. I really want to do the Christmas ornaments again, and I have them from Trakel. But right now, I can't do any sanding. Mm, no. I can't do any sanding because of my lungs. <coughs> so until that resolves, and I'm able to sand. Hey, I could paint mine, huh? Paint your what? Christmas ornament. Oh, that implies I got you one. Oh. Awkward. See what I have to deal with? I love you. I love you too. I love you. Uh, if you want one, you can have one, but I didn't think of it. Oh, I thought we were doing it as a as a thing. Oh, those are for the grandkids, aren't they? Well, two of them are. You can do ours, because I bought three. Well, never mind. No, They're I bought three. Oh, for. you know what? No. I got the two snow globes for the girls. If uh -huh. you want to paint okay. the girls' snow globes. Okay. You couldn't do that. Okay. Look, let's see here. Can I get you? No. You're lucky it's braided. Ow. Ow. No, I was just hitting you with a ball. That's so many things wrong with that. Which is why I said it. What? Alrighty. I think we are going to go ahead and end it here. Because mm. I really need to cough bad. Mm. That sucks. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it. I don't know how good that's going to be. Mm. Alrighty, so we got this little man on the board. We got everything transferred. It's looking good. Um, he's there. The cookie, I think, is definitely... And then once I put the ornament in... Oops. And the... Uh, there we go. Let's include the puppy. Definitely got to figure out the names. If you're in the Facebook group, maybe I'll start a, a post for the names of our intimus. Yeah. I think the video where we're burning Christmas ornaments and talking about Dirty Santa. That was I last year. I think the thumbnail actually has like a It has Santa. Dirty Santa. Yeah. Yep, it has Dirty Santa. So. But you need to tell the story every year. They want us to hear it. Thank right. you, Karen. I will. So glad you could join us. Let's see here. <laughs> what? I know that wasn't your intent, but it sounded a little passive aggressive. No. I, I know it wasn't your intent. How did it sound passive aggressive? <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us. <laughs> so glad you could join us. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. All righty. Don't forget if you're new to hit the subscribe button that's down here. Yeah. And like I said, the pattern is available. For purchase, and it is not for commercial use as in companies, but you can burn your piece and sell it, and then you retain the copyright of your piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment. It helps the channel so much when you guys talk to me. And do we got anything else? We got to do the thing. We got to do the thing. The thing that you do. No, not that thing. The thing under there. You know the thing. I can't tell you, because then it ruins it. But you can tell me. You gotta tell them who they are. Okay, fine. And don't forget, you're awesome. You can do this. Mm -hmm. You're a pyro artist. Yes, correct. Happy burning, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I need to cough.